Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. It is always an honor and a privilege to come before the people of God. So I'm just so excited. Um, I, I, I want to warn you ahead of time. I want to warn you ahead of time. If you're looking for me to do all the talking, I'm not going to do that. I'm not that kind. So <laughs> so this is what I call a community Bible study. So that means we work together. Amen. So I did the work in the beginning. So, but I'm a, which means I'm gonna warn you now, y'all gonna be working. Y'all be working hard. <laughs> so working hard, we're gonna have, we're gonna make really good use of this next 30 minutes. And I've provided the scripture for you. However, you may, you may use your own Bible as well, whether it's on your phone, um, digital, your computer, whatever it is. But I have the scripture here is going to be out of Mark chapter five, verses 24b to 34. So 24b, so that second part of that, that 24th verse to the 34th chapter. I am one of those, I will be checking the chat. So if you put something in the chat, that's fine. I might invite you to put something in the chat as well. So be prepared for that. When I said I'm gonna work you, I'm gonna work you. So don't, 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 when you see me next, don't throw me in the lion's den. Don't, you know, just love on me. Just love on me and mm -hmm. say, Makiba, why are you, Dr. Makiba, why, why are you giving us so much work? <laughs> but we are, we are going to work together. So mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen with you uh, this evening. Give me a moment to do that. So, so you should see where it says community Bible study, Mark 24, I mean, chapter 5, 24. 24b to 34. I'm going to make sure that I know that we have people who have varying abilities. I have not added my, my, uh, the, you know, the, the caption on, but for those who may have a visual impairment, we will also ask a reader to read as well. We will, we will keep this scripture open because we are going to be digging into it and looking at it. So Mark, just as as how many people what what do you know about mark the 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 gospel according to mark tell me what you got when i say i'm working y'all y'all got to talk to me now i know some people might be multitasking if you drive and let me know ahead of time you can use the chat but what do you know about the the, the book of mark well, did you want me to say something or yeah you... anyone can say anyone everyone's working so tell me what what do you know about the book of mark anyone mark is one of the gospels that recorded the early early life of jesus right exactly and in fact it's the only one that says gospel mm -hmm. in mark 1 1 so mark actually came first even though it, is, it appears in our Bible as the second one, but it was the first one that was written. Mm -hmm. And the other said, that's just too short. What are you crazy? <laughs> let's, let's, let's get into this. Let's, let's say some more because there's more in there. So, so Matthew was and and a very specific group of people that Mark was reaching out to, mostly the Gentiles, right? And so Matthew said, okay, you got some of the story, but let me get the genealogy in there. Let me talk some more about, you know, because I know Jewish folks want to know a little bit more. They want by what, who authority, mm -hmm. right? And then Luke said, well, you know that if Jesus was healing stuff, let me take it from the perspective of someone who, who who's a physician, right? And, and John said, that's lovely, but y'all forgot about the main message, which is love. So let's talk about that and the sense to believe. If you read John, you'll you'll you're you're firing in the senses in the garden. Things are happening. You can smell it. Everything, right? And Mark was very interesting. If you read it in Greek, and some people have, but then when you read it in Greek, it is like tell a story fast, fast, fast. It starts off, and then all of a sudden, it's moving fast. And by the time you finish with it, it's like, oh, that was quick. So one of those, just I tell people when they say, oh, I want to read the Bible in its whole entirety. Like, slow down. Don't start from Genesis, maybe. Maybe start with Mark, because that's a quick read. So that's one of those things I love to talk about with Mark. I love reading Mark. So we're going to actually talk a little bit about time when we get in there. So 
without all the further ado, that was just the introduction, just to understand this story. Now, when we do this, this, this Bible study here, the way that I'm going to ask you to do it is before we start interpreting it, the scripture, I want us to like rip it to shreds. And we're going to use a method that I call the inductive method. Now, I'm not going to teach you every piece, but I'm just going to do two pieces. I want you to always be looking at. I'm going to ask you, at least for the first couple of 15 minutes, who who's doing it? So know who's doing it and what did they do? Who's doing it? Who is and what did they do? So always be looking for a person and then the action. And then we can start using, using that to decipher and to understand what God is doing and where God is working in the text. Okay. Amen. So if are you all ready? And y'all got to talk to me, use your chat, whatever it is. Y'all ready? People on the mute. Okay. Y'all ready or not? Here we come. So. All right. So here's the scripture. And could I have a reader for those who, who I want to make sure that those who may not see what I'm sharing can at least hear it. Somebody will read. Uh, let's see. I... Evangelist Nelson, would you read for me, please? I'm going to pick on you a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all that she had. And she was no better, but rather grew worse. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going, read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, if I but touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhage stopped and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, you see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say who touched me? He looked around, all around to see who had done it. But the woman knowing what had happened to her came in fear and trembling, fell down before him and told him, the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Amen. I love this scripture. I hope you don't mind me digging in this. So I'm going to thank you so much, Evangelist Nelson. Now, when I said I'm going to work you, I meant I'm going to work you. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at I'm going to stop sharing just a quick second and go back to the scripture because I'm going to write what you tell me. So if you don't tell me something, I don't get to write. So y'all don't, y'all don't have to work. So mm -hmm. give me a second to reshare. And there we go. All right. So I stopped sharing. Not yet? Not yet. Oops. Okay. There we go. All right. So now here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to give you an example of what I mean by find the people and then tell me what they did. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. And so there's a large crowd. That's the group. That's mm -hmm. that large crowd is that's the noun. That's the people. Right. So I'm going to put that as market with blue here. And you mm -hmm. see where it says the large crowd followed, that's the verb. And then they pressed on him. Now, who was the him? 
Jesus. Jesus, right, right, right. So, so now we're going to be digging in in order to, for us to interpret where we're, where this is the community. We've got to know who did what. So the large crowd followed and then they pressed. Okay. Now let's start with the next one. The woman. I'm going to make that color yellow. So what did the woman do? So it says, now there was a woman who was who had been suffering. What's the verb? What's she doing? Suffering. 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 Oh, see, oh God, look at y'all. Y'all are amazing. I love it. So I'm just going to underline it here. So the woman is suffering, okay? And she's suffering from hemorrhage from 12 years. What else is she doing? Yeah, you might be... Go ahead. She endured, right? So she endured much, right? So she had endured. So she was suffering, had endured. Okay, what else? And spent she spent all her money. She spent all her money. Okay, she spent all her money, all that she had, right? Whatever it is, goods, services. So she spent. All right, keep going. What else you got for me? She was sicker. She was sicker, so she grew worse. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Look at you. You all are moving and grooving. I love it. And then what else? And she was no better. So, right. So, she was no better. Mm -hmm. But she also saw many physicians. So, yes, she saw many physicians. So, she had endured under many physicians. So, there we go. Uh-huh. So, that's part of it. What happened? Mm-hmm. What, what other verbs do you see here? She heard, she heard, oh yes, she heard Jesus. Okay, so you all are cooking with grease. This is a woman, she's suffering, she had endured, she spent, she was no better, grew worse, had heard. And then what else? She touched him. Right, before she touches him, what does she, she do? She came up behind him. She came up from behind him. Oh, this is going to be interesting, y'all. Okay, so she came up from behind up behind him, uh-huh, in the crowd. And then what? She now, touched. sister, mm-hmm, yes, Mother Laverne, yes, Jen, she touched. Okay, got you. Then what else did she do? She spoke. Well, what did she touch? What, you said what? So she touched his garment. So she touched his garment, right? So that's uh -huh, the his what? cloak. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then what else? What's a ver another verb? She said she spoke something within herself. Right. So she spoke something within herself. So she said, but if I touch the hem of his garment, right, mm -hmm. I will be made whole. I shall. I shall. Oh, I, I will or I shall. Right. So depending on your, 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 your version, you might have a shall, which the shall and the will means it's a definitive. Yes. I'm like, this is it. I, I'm I'm there. Okay. So this is what she says in her mind. So that's that little thing that, that happens. Okay. Y'all are moving and grooving. Keep talking. I told you I was going to work y'all hard. Look at y'all. Y'all are doing a great job. What else happened? And then straightway, mm -hmm. the fountain of blood was dried up. Right. So her hemorrhage stopped. So the fountain stopped. of blood. Okay. So we're going to get to where that blood is, but we're going to not, we're not, we're not going to. So the blood is the one that stopped. So she's mm -hmm. not her action, but we're going to hold it there. Right. And mm -hmm. then what else? And What's she up? felt in her body. Aha. Uh -huh. She felt in her body. So she felt. Let's see where we are. So I'm going to revert review. Because it's going to come to you. She suffered. She was suffering. She endured. Suffering and endured. Wow. Spent. She was no better. She grew worse. She had heard. She came up behind. She touched. She said. And then she felt, and it's her her hemorrhage that had stopped, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, and she felt in her body that she what healed. was healed. Was healed, right? Okay, look at y'all. Y'all are smoking of her disease. Now this is where Makiba's going to add in a little in the Greek. In the Greek, it means not just disease, her suffering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so her suffering so she's healed from the disease but from her suffering yes. okay all right so now 
you're cooking with grease. And then verse 30. And Jesus felt her. He knew someone touched him. Okay, he so immediately it. aware of the power that gone power. from him, mm -hmm. Jesus, new person, let's give him a different color. So Jesus, let's make him green. Okay, so Jesus, what, did what? He knew that virtual had gone out. Ah, he, aware that the, immediately aware. Mm -hmm. Aha, look at you, look at this. Mother Laverne with your smart self. Okay. <laughs> We're going to make it bold. Let's see. Make it bold of Jesus being aware. And then what he was immediately aware. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Keep going. What else did he do? Uh, he turned. He, he turned. turned. Okay. So he turned about mm -hmm. the crowd. And, and then what? He asked the question. Who? Yeah. So he said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. There we go. So Jesus is aware. He turned. He said. Who touched? My clothes. Yeah, who touched my clothes? So he actually said, this is what he said. So who touched my clothes? I'm going to underline that for, um, I'm not going to cross it out. Let's see. Let's make it italics here. And then who's the, where's the next group of people? The disciples. The disciples, right. So his disciples, right? So let's give them another color. Let's give them red. Okay. So we've got quite a few people up in here. we got a large crowd. That's followed and pressed. We got a woman who's suffering, who had endured, spent, had was no better, grew worse, had heard, came up behind him, touched his cloak, said, um, and felt her in her body and was healed. Mm -hmm. Then we got Jesus. Jesus became was aware immediately, turned, said, and then his di disciples did what? They spoke to him. They said to him. Mm -hmm. Right. So they said, uh-huh. So they said to Jesus, and let's give them something else. Let's make it uppercase. Okay. So they said, you see the crowd pressing on in on you. How can you say who touched me? Right. They funny, right? And then who's the he? Hey. Jesus. Jesus, right? So that got to make sure that it's the same color as Jesus, which when we made Jesus green. So he, what? He looked around. He looked around. I got to make it bold. So he looked around and what? He saw her. Touched her. Right. Yep. So he had to see, right? Who mm -hmm. had done it. But the woman, now we're back to her. Okay. The woman, she's in yellow. What? Knowing. Knowing. Right, right, right. So knowing, she's underlined. So knowing what had happened to her did what? She was trembling and she fell down. Right. So she came in fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Right. So she came in fear. So that's one that came is in fear, is in um is one verb. And trembling is its own verb, mm -hmm. potentially. Mm. Right? So there we go. And then what she do? Fell she down. fell down before she him. Fell down before him. Wow, she is doing she is doing a lot up in here. You think she's just this small little person in here, but she is doing a lot of movement. Okay. So she fell before him. Who's him? Jesus. Jesus. So she fell before him and then what? And then she spoke to him. She told him. Yeah, she admitted she the told truth. him what now? Told him she all told the him. truth. Ah, she told him the whole truth. Mm -hmm. Wow. Isn't that interesting? That's for some, us to say, okay, what is that? What was the whole truth? Okay. And then who? who's the he? Jesus. Jesus. So he is, we got Jesus is green. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Jesus did what? He spoke to her. He said, right. So he said something to her. He said to her, daughter. Her. Mm -hmm. That's the woman. Right. The daughter is the woman. From woman to daughter now. Oh, come on. You about to you about to make me shout up in here. You going too fast, Mother Mother Newton. You going too fast. We in Mark. He's speeding. <laughs> He's speeding. I told you Mark goes fast. Mark is fast. So daughter, your faith has made you whole. Go, Go in peace. In peace. And be healed of your disease or be healed of your suffering. 
My okay. Bible says plague. Your plague. Right. Okay. So your Bible says plague. So let's get back to this. So, so here's what I want you to think about. It's a large crowd. They following him. They're following Jesus and they're pressed on him. We've been doing a lot of work. They, they follow, they press. Now, what's interesting, I'm going to give you a little history. Jesus has been traversing this lake back and forth. I don't know how much time has been, but he went on one part of the lake and then he met the man who said, I'm legion. And he's, or the, some people would say, I'm the demonic. And he goes back across the, uh, across the lake. Jesus is moving. He is yeah. moving back and forth very, very quickly from one side of the lake to another. He is moving. So we've, we've identified a lot of what Jesus is already doing. Mm -hmm. So now this, because I'm looking at my time, this is a good time for us to talk about this real quick. Because I told you Mark is fast. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to, we're going to go back to this scripture. We're going to look at any references to time. And I'm going to mark it. So I'm going to read it. When you hear something related to time, let me know. And then I will, will mark it some kind of way. All right. So and a large crowd followed Jesus and pressed in on him. Now, that's time, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, there we go. So time is there. So now there was a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 years. 12 years. Of time. 12 years. So now... And then now she's, we went from now to 12 years, like boom, 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 boom. And she had endured much under many physicians. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm, so, so there's this span of time associated with this 12 and spent all that she had. She was no better. She grew worse. Mm -hmm. And reference to time. Okay. See how fast Mark is moving. He's actually moving us quickly through this. And she had heard about Jesus and came up behind him and in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, if I touch his clothes, I will be made well immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we went from now there was a woman to 12 years, mm -hmm. all of that she had endured from during that period of time. And with a touch of his garment, mm -hmm. what happened? Straightway, immediately. Right, immediately A her hemorrhage. <laughs> right, she'd been bleeding for 12 years. And when I, I, my family knows I'm a bit on the graphic side, she has been menstruating for 12 years nonstop. Oh she's been so unclean we, too. She, she, and why is she unclean to the people? God doesn't see it as clean. Why? But the men see it as unclean. Because, and even some of the society, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the blood, the menstrual blood. Right. Mm -hmm. Because of her menstrual blood. Now, menstrual blood does clean you out, right? But she's been bleeding and suffering. Imagine this woman bleeding. If she's been bleeding for 12 years, what does she look like? She's what does she experience? Say it again. Frail and weak. She's frail. She's weak. She's it's even pale. if she's in the sun, she's pale. She, she can be. So she's already at a lowered state. Mm -hmm. So to be in this crowd where they're already pressing, mm -hmm. they're pressing Jesus. That means she got to jostle folk mm -hmm. to get where she wants to be. Right. So now we can start interpreting what's happening. So she's endured this. She's been suffering. And here's another thing. when pe She's anemic by this time. Mm -hmm. Which sometimes when people have anemia, their heart starts working overtime. And so what may happen is they, they may have little pains in their heart and in their chest. Because their heart, and they after a while they just ignore it. And these, these sharp pains. So she's been dealing with this. She's been suffering for 12 years. And then all of a sudden, immediately, her hemorrhage stops. And how does she know it? How does she know it? She felt it in her body. She, right. This is why I say you got to look at these verbs. She felt it in her body that she was healed mm -hmm. of her suffering. 
she has been sitting there. She knows what it's like. She knows her body. She knows what it's like to be bleeding and to be flowing nonstop. And all of a sudden, with and here's the thing. Did Jesus touch her? No. No. She touched Jesus. She touched Jesus. Every time you see Jesus healing people, he's touched them. She has she has touched Jesus without his permission. And because of this, what happens? She's healed. She's healed. And guess what? She's healed. And then let's go back to 30. She's healed of a disease, of a suffering. Her... In verse 30, what happens? Jesus turned around and asked, who touched my clothes? Right. So but yeah, he, he turns gone. around before. Before he turns around, yes, what happens? You realize that the power had gone forth. Right. Yeah. Immediately. Remember about Mark and time. Yes. Immediately aware that the power had gone from him, Jesus turns around, boom, and says, who touched my clothes? Jesus knows immediately. Wow. <laughs> and he turns around. Remember, I'm saying Mark is like everything Jesus is on going from the from this side of the lake to the other side of the lake to this side of the lake to the other side of the lake. And he's sitting there. He's like, hey. And he's from his rushing. Jesus is rushing from one place to the other. And what happens? He becomes aware of the power that has transformed from transferred from him to another person. And he turns in a crowd of people that's pressing him and says, Who, who touch, touch my clothes? Now you can see why the people, his disciples said to him, you see this crowd pressing all around you? How can you say who touched me? He looked around and he, to see. His rushing from one side of the lake to another. And he's not even trying to touch her. He's trying to get to Jerry's his daughter. He yeah. has just met the, the man who said he's legion, while he's talking to them, while things are happening and he's moving back on the other side of the lake, they say, hey, Jairus, his daughter is dead. She's sick. Come and see about her. And then when he's going, he goes, OK, uh, they come back and they say uh, she dead. So, you know, you could just chill. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is like, nah, I ain't chilling. He's not taking time. He gonna go. He goes to Jerry's daughter, and this is when this happens. So he, all of this, his. Oh, I know I'm not supposed to interpret, but when all of Jesus touching, why you, why you calling on every, why you, while everybody calling on you, please remember me, please mm -hmm. see me. That in the rushing, in the miracle, Jesus sees this woman. He could have just let her be healed. And it be done. But the woman knowing what had happened to her, she like, look, I could hide. Nobody should, nope, I shouldn't even be in public anyway. Because I was considered unclean. But she comes and she with fear, she came in fear and trembling. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> And she falls and she fell down before him and told him, Jesus, the whole truth, her truth. Whatever her truth was, not what somebody said, not what they whispered. He didn't go by what they heard. She told him. McKeever, can I make an observation, please? Absolutely, please. You're talking about space and time. She was an unknown her, a stranger, to becoming a healed daughter. Mm-hmm. Right. That's right. 
-hmm. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat a little bit and give you a little recovering daughter. Ah, I love it. Recovering. Because I'm going to tell you why she's recovering. Mm -hmm. Because she fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your suffering. Be healed. So mm. here, here's what I want to share. Any other observations that people have? What do you see? What's what's coming to you now that we've dis we chopped up this scripture? Now, what do you what do you see? What is it saying to you? I it tells me. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jay. Mm -hmm. I, I think one one piece that's real important is that you see all the people that's touching him and nothing is happening to them. But she grabs her faith and her intentions and intentionally touches him. Wow. Yeah, I love that. Intentionality. Yeah. Intentionality. Because people are pressing. She's mm. with intent. And it's her story. Now, there may have been other people here, but it's her story that's told. Because she went and, and Sister Mother Laverne, you said this. She went from a woman to what? To a daughter. Woo. That's part of the recovery, y'all. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Anybody, somebody else has an observation before I cheat a little yeah, bit. I, I had, I had mm -hmm. an observation about the woman um, mm -hmm. because when Jesus asked the question, who touched me? That tells me that this woman, she was a woman of integrity. She was mm -hmm. of honesty. She was a, a woman of truthfulness. And she mm -hmm. had principles and values, even after suffering for 12 years. Mm -hmm. She had got healed. But then he said, who touched me? Jesus mm -hmm. knew who touched him. Mm -hmm. But because she was a woman of integrity, mm -hmm. she was honest with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Wow. And let me say, that's a beautiful, I mean, the observations that I've heard so far have been absolutely fantastic. Because what it also says to me is that this is also part of her recovery mm -hmm. that she would have, even with fear and trembling, even when we cannot get it together, we know we don't have it together, that God can give us the courage to come before the Lord mm -hmm. and tell our story. Whew. That the power of being in recovery, because she's healed of her hemorrhage, but the recovery has to be of the suffering that she's been experiencing. Mm -hmm. She's had to she's had to deal with her whole life for 12 years. Her whole life has been rotating around being near a bathroom, y'all. I have an option. Yes, go ahead. Yes, please. My thought is in reference to the disciples. Mm -hmm. knowing who they follow and had the nerve to say you see the crowd pressing in on you how can you say who touched me mm -hmm. knowing who God who Jesus was he's all knowing so like pastor said he already knew who the woman was mm -hmm. so for the disciples to come back and to ask that question not knowing who they're following Mm -hmm. right 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 absolutely yeah. absolutely it has been a powerful moment for all of us I, I see that there's something in the chat too so I saw a woman my little mouse is going all kind of lopsided right now but yeah this absolutely this this the power of the people around them the crowd is they're trying to get what they want the disciples are like, look, let's just get to Jared's daughter. Let's go. Let's eat. Let's do whatever. And we sleep. We've been running around all day long, Jesus. When you going to rest? When we going to rest? Because if you ain't resting, I ain't. We ain't. And that's a lesson for um, the followers, the people of God, for the, for the saints right. of God. That Jesus being Jesus, being divine, and he wasn't divine at that time. He was still in the physical, but he was their leader. And the leader was leading them, but they're ready to push aside and, and 
Yeah, too many people, put, you know, people is pushing up against you, Jesus. So how can you say that somebody touched you? To me, they had got a little hungry and perturbed. They were ready to take a rest, rest break, not understanding that the mission that Jesus was on was to heal the sick, to save, and to deliver. And I think I lost Dr. Kiva. She'll be there in a minute. Amen. That's a, that's a good point, um, Sister Nelson. Mm -hmm. and, and this woman, I, I'll go back to this woman again. She pressed in to Jesus. So what the, that tell me that she did not care about the crowd. Right. Many times we got our eyes on the crowd, but we got to focus in on Jesus. She knew she needed to be healed and not nobody in that crowd could heal her but Jesus. So she she had laser focus. When we want to get something from God, we got to have laser focus. And then my my um second thought is um immediately immediately she was healed. Meaning that God can do it immediately when we touch him. Mm -hmm. When Amen. we focus in when we Dr. McKeeper, you're back. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sorry about that. I'm That's not right. sure what happened to my thing. But yes, so thank you so much for, mm -hmm. for getting in. And so, yes. So, so, so the, the thing is, and I know we're going to go in, that she pressed the issue. Mm -hmm. She pressed forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then she is in recovery. So she went from being a woman to being in relationship with God. Yes, yes. But it was by her. That's the recovery. That's the process of now going from being a woman mm -hmm. to a daughter. To a daughter. And so when some people, when we're in recovery, that's, that's hard for some people. Mm-hmm. But the power of being coming from going from a woman to being from a daughter. Yes. So I I question you all in this process. What will it take for you, my God, to be a child of the Most High? Hey, Hallelujah. Where is God healing you? God healed you and we are God healing you and where is your recovery because now you're going to have just like for her her whole behavior has to change mm -hmm. where's your what's your behavior what's your next step to the change yes that's my question to you tonight I can't answer that but we all can answer that on our own Yes. What's the change? I want to say thank you. God bless you for this opportunity. This has been a blessing. I told y'all I was going to work y'all. Y'all worked hard. Come on, give yourself, you know, my little, you know, kiss up to God, kiss your shoulders, kiss each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen, everyone. Thank you. God bless. Amen. She had to have the faith mm -hmm. to believe. Mm -hmm. so if she touched his garment, mm -hmm. she would be made whole. Mm -hmm. We can pray all we like mm -hmm. for healing. But healing comes when we have the faith mm -hmm. to see, as this woman did. Mm -hmm. she, we know we will be made whole or we will be made well. But the another thing I see is when we are in the spirit realm, we mm -hmm. can see the healing. But mm -hmm. when we're walking in the spirit of the flesh, we are reaping that of the flesh. Mm -hmm. so the flesh is going to dictate mm -hmm. our disease, our health, our pain, yeah. our agony. But in the spirit, we walk as if we have no problems whatsoever. Mm -hmm. but I I, I thank you. I thank you. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to go to work tomorrow and talk about. <laughs> <laughs>
yes, that's yeah, that's the mm-hmm. that's part of the recovery. That the the, the things mm-hmm. that happen after the result of the healing, amen, is the recovery. That's the part. That's the behavior change that needs to happen. So we mm-hmm. we get saved instantaneously, right? So we say, "Oh Lord, I just." Then it's the progress to be of being sanctified, of being yes. in recovery. That's the process. That's the process. The healing was the immediately. The daughter is a relationship that don't go away, y'all. Amen. That's not my yes. God. The sons. And the sons. <laughs> the sons, the daughters, the children of God. Right? Amen. Of God. Amen. 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 Thank you so Amen. much. God bless. Mm-hmm. bless you. Thank you so much, Dr. McKeeva. We certainly enjoyed the Bible study on tonight. And as you were finishing up talking, this three words came to me. I am in recovery. Hallelujah. I am in recovery. I'm in recovery. The work has already been done. By faith, I've already got the blessing. I'm just in recovery. And you know, when you're in recovery, you ain't ready to run yet. But you're here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are in recovery. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. That was just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Amen. So it's Nelson. I'm in recovery. Uh, it, and every time the devil come after you, say, uh-uh, you, you, mm-hmm. you, you're not going to make it just say, I'm in recovery. With me, it. the work has already been done. The operation has already taken place. It, I am in recovery. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you. I, I'm Amen. just going to log Amen. off. I ain't got no music to play and all that. But, but <laughs> just remember, we've gone from being woman, sister of, or son, now, son, to be in daughter and mm-hmm. son. Amen. That's right. That's right. But you got to remember that we are in recovery. God bless you. Have a blessed evening.